So again, we're going to leave a little bit of room at the end and we're just going to start off. We're going to make one bubble about an inch and a half long and then we're going to make an ear. Another bubble about an inch long and then another ear. Now we're going to pinch it all together and twist so that the base of each ear is meeting and being twisted together. We've got the face of the monkey here and I like to put sunglasses on the monkey because sometimes I make the monkey riding a motorcycle or something. We'll learn how to do that later on. So we've got our sunglasses, I make some hairy ears and a big smile and the tie of the balloon can be his tongue sticking out or a cigarette, depending on the audience. Now we're going to work our way down, give it a good squeeze, we're going to do the neck. An arm and then an ear knot. Twist that on itself there. And then we're doing about a one inch bubble and another ear knot. These are going to be the hands. And actually the twist at the neck came undone, but that's okay. We'll redo it right now. We've got two arms, two hands, and we've got a little kind of extra balloon bit in between the hands. Now, a great trick is, is that you can actually pop that balloon in between the hands to separate the hands. But you have to make sure that you've twisted those ear knots really, really well so that it doesn't deflate. So you can cut it with scissors, you can bite it, or when I worked in a restaurant, I'd usually have a kid stab it with a fork, but just be careful of your fingers. And I usually just do a loop for the hind legs because I usually will have the monkey, um, you know, holding onto a palm tree, riding a motorcycle, sitting on top of a hat, something like that.